NFL fans, media, and even GMs are always looking for the underrated players. Who is the guy that deserves some appreciation that really isn't getting it and is flying under the radar? And I really do think that Zach Sealer of the Miami Dolphins is just that. From an interior defensive line spot, he combines technique, power, and speed to really wreak havoc on all of his snaps, even though he's splitting time with guys like Christian Wilkins. So I think it's time that we look at some of the film and show you just how underrated Zach Sealer really is. This first play from Zach Sealer is really one of high effort, and that's a theme in his film. He's a hard worker, and it shows up on tape. Here's a play against the New York Jets. The ball is snapped, and they run a little end-around reverse. Zach Wilson is scattering out towards the end zone, and he's looking to catch a pass. And Zach Sealer realizes this and just books it after Wilson. He's the only guy that can potentially stop this pass. And what does he do? He books it. High effort, puts his hands up, makes a play on the football, and stops a potential touchdown. It's just an awesome play, and here's another angle of it. Zach Wilson... He's running out on the route, and Sealer just takes off, goes after him, puts his hands in the air, and makes sure that the pass doesn't get past him. This second play from Sealer is another one against the Jets, but this one's just simple, and that's really what works for Sealer. The simple moves, here it's a swim, the ball is snapped, and Sealer puts a move on the offensive lineman and makes a tackle in the backfield before this running back can potentially make a big gain on the cutback. You see her again, the simple swim move off the motion, and Zach Sealer makes a play on the running back in the backfield, and he really does this all the time when he's in the game. Before we look at more run stuffs from Zach Sealer, I think it's important to think about what is the objective of a defensive lineman and how they can really win, and I think the number one way they can do that is by getting their arms extended under the pads of the offensive lineman. By doing this, they really win the game, as they say, the low man wins, and they are able to really manipulate their body, move them around, and get them off the spot so they can make plays in the run game. And as we see this run play by the Carolina Panthers, that really is exactly what Sealer does. If you watch him on this play, he's able to play the low game, get underneath the offensive lineman, making him able to move him off of his pads and off of his spot and make a play in the backfield on Christian McCaffrey. I know it looks easier here, but this is a very difficult move. And because of Sealer's strength, athleticism, and really technique here, that's what makes it look so simple for him. He's worked very hard on all of those things, and it's clear when you watch him play because of the run stuffs and pass rush wins that we see from him that generate on plays like this. Simplicity in technique is the number one thing that we see with Zach Sealer, and we see it again on this play against the New Orleans Saints. The ball is snapped. Sealer puts a quick stutter step on his offensive lineman. Notice that back step gets past him pretty easily and hurries the quarterback's throw. I know that the pass was complete, but still, the process is what matters here, and that really is a pass rush win for Sealer. He got a hit off on the quarterback and hurried his throw up in a game where the Dolphins dominated. Here is another prime example of the phrase, the low man wins. The ball is snapped, and Sealer immediately gets his arms underneath the pads of the offensive lineman, quickly gets past him and makes another hit on a quarterback that forces a near interception for Javon Holland. Really just an awesome play here from Sealer and just shows how simple his wins are when you have strength like he does and when you combine it with his technique. Gets his hands on the lineman and when he tries to stop him, he just puts his hand right on his chest, moves him to the side, gets to Mike Glennon and rushes a throw that ends up almost being a turnover. Here's another example of a high effort play from Sealer that also just comes with play recognition and knowing where the ball is going. Cam Newton is in the pocket here as the snap comes and he's looking downfield and as soon as Zach Sealer sees that Cam is looking his way, he's quickly getting his hands in the air and bats down a pass. Not a lot of guys are looking at the quarterback, they're typically looking at their linemen and what they have to do to get past them, but even though Sealer didn't win a pass rush rep here or anything, he's able to get his hands in the air and bat down a pass, potentially preventing a big gain. You've seen the power, you've seen the technique, now it's time to see the speed with Zach Sealer that really is underrated from an interior defensive lineman spot. Zach Sealer here against the Saints. The offensive lineman looks to be in decent position. What does Zach Sealer do? He chops away his hands, 
quickly gets past him and gets to the quarterback, forcing him out of the pocket. Ian Book continues to run and has to throw this ball out of bounds. Here's another prime example of great speed and get off from Sealer. Quickly, Cesar Ruiz has no clue what's coming because he's not looking at him, and you blink, and he's already past you. Sealer's in the backfield, and it allows Jerome Baker to make a play on Ian Book. It's really just the quick speed, quick twitch off the line, and great get off to get after the quarterback. I know he was unblocked here, but a lot of guys can't take advantage of that, and Sealer does by forcing him out of the pocket, allowing his teammates to make plays, which really was a common thread. You don't see great stat lines for Sealer because a lot of his teammates were reaping the benefits of his great play. Zach Sealer is one of the most high effort players in the NFL. Snap in, snap out, game in, game out. He puts in work and you see it. And here's another example. I keep showing examples of his high motor. Here's another one. Mike Glennon takes the snap and throws a screen. And what does Zach Sealer do? He sniffs it out immediately. And even though there are defensive backs all the way over there, he runs across the field from the middle of the field to the sideline to make a tackle on Saquon Barkley. That's really just a high effort play from him. Here it is again. He gets over and makes the play on Barkley before he could potentially break off a big gain. Awesome play from Sealer. And if you're not going to take it from me, take it from Pro Football Focus, who ranked Zach Sealer third in their PFF grade among all interior defensive linemen last season, only placing behind all pro caliber players in Aaron Donald and Cameron Hayward. This was a guy who split time with Christian Wilkins and other interior defensive linemen and still was the highest grade on the team and third highest in the entire league. If that doesn't say something about him being underrated, I really don't know what does. That's really just about it for me. I think that Zach Sealer is one of the most underrated players in the NFL, and as he continues to get more snaps next season and beyond, you're going to hear that name more and more. If you want to see more content from me, make sure to like and subscribe. Please comment. I'm always looking for suggestions on how to improve my content and what you want to see next. Make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm putting out content there pretty much all the time. I will see you guys next time. Peace.